definitely forgot to film an intro so yeah we're working with this right now <laughs> anyway hey yo what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel so filming handheld today and didn't realize how heavy my camera is so not gonna do that no more uh, today's video um, as you've read by the title is based on dolls kill and their beautiful star bralette um, or bikini top that they have um, I found this I found them via Instagram and I saw this bralette top and I have been meaning to buy it and I will buy it actually because I absolutely love it, um, the, the way they made it, but I also was like, I ain't got $28. So your girl was like, hmm, can I make this? And I said, mm -hmm, yes I can. I tipped on over to my local thrift store and I picked up a faux leather purse, which I thought was, was perfect at the time, but it definitely could have been better in the sense that I just needed more, more leather from it, but it's okay, or like more faux leather from it. But it's all right, it worked out anyway, and I'm super happy with the results. And I think this is a fun DIY that's actually pretty easy even for beginner sewers so if you're thinking about doing this I 100% say definitely try it out now but quick note um, shout out to dolls kill uh, love y'all don't sue me for um, DIYing this cuz I ain't selling it so I'm just letting you know and side note side note if you haven't already subscribed uh, and if you love me go ahead and slam that subscribe button real quick for your girl one time one time and uh, show your girl some love by hitting that bell button that like button and that comment button um, I always love reading all the comments so definitely comment down below and check out the description box for all of the materials and basically the things that I use to make this happen. And y'all, side note, um, I probably won't get paid for this video, which is totally fine by me, but if you want to help a sister out in making more short films um, as well as getting paid, uh, because sometimes when you use, I don't know if this song is copyrighted or not, it's a remix, but if it don't if it don't go through, it's all right, that's okay, I can be poor. But if you want to help me out by, you know, checking out my Patreon or coffee link or even my GoFundMe, I am trying to save up for a new camera so that I can start making films and movies like I used to because I know a lot of y'all miss that but if not y'all don't worry because all I need is your love and support and we gonna keep this thing going so thank you all so much for watching and uh, enough rambling let's get into this video so here's what you need first you're gonna need a full leather purse I picked mine up from my local thrift store for six bucks then of course your scissors and a piece of paper and pen if you're going to draw your star pattern and then you're also going to need some straight pins and a ruler. And then I picked up this two millimeter leather cord. Um, you need two rolls of this and it has three yards each. Then you're also going to need some felt as well as your seam ripper. All right, so getting started, I ended up Googling and printing out a star pattern I found online um, because my first one kind of failed. So I just went onto ye old Google and found me a nice old star pattern to use. And I'll link that down below. And then I went ahead and printed out two copies because the first copy ended up being too big. Um, and then the second one I scaled down to be slightly smaller. And then I just added about a quarter inch of seam allowance around all the sides using my ruler. And then once I finished that, I just went ahead and cut out the pattern. So now, purse time. Um, so I ended up picking not such a good purse because it had way too many seams and zippers and bells and whistles. So if you can find something that is a little less zippery and you know, more purse. <laughs> so so if, as much fabric as you can possibly kind of salvage from here. Um, I cut off the front and the back. So using the front piece, um, I just went ahead and seam ripped the zipper out 
so that we could have um, some you know room to work with and then I went ahead and transferred my pattern onto the fabric and I just used a white gel pen um, to transfer that on and just trace out the pattern and then you're just gonna go ahead and use your handy dandy scissors to cut that out and don't worry about those white lines um, we're gonna get rid of that in a moment but this is what it should look like after you finish and then we are going to take apart the treacherous back um, and create the second piece so I didn't really like this at first because of that middle seam as you can see but kind of working with it a little bit later I was like oh this kind of gives a little bit of a grungier feel anyway so it kind of worked out so I just went ahead and pinned my pattern piece um, down to the fabric and then I just did the same exact steps as before tracing it onto the fabric and then cutting it out and then I went ahead and took a little bit of rubbing alcohol and water and just wiped away at the gel lines so yeah this is what it should look like once you're all finished and now we are going to go ahead and round off the edges using our scissors. Now this actually makes it so much easier to sew as well as insert the leather cord for the straps and everything. So go ahead and just snip away at those edges and this is what it looks like after you're done. And now for the felt. Oh yeah, and that's just in the background. Hey Jess. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and place my pieces onto my felt and just transfer that pattern on there. And I actually ended up only needing one piece of felt because I doubled it up and created two um, felt stars out of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my leather pieces. So this is just a reinforcement to make it not only comfortable, but also a little bit more sturdier. Um, and if you do have like a flimsier material, you would want to probably double up on the felt and then add that to your leather. But yeah, I only needed about one for, for these guys. And then I'm just gonna pin them. And then now we're going to move on to our leather cord. You need two rolls of this again, and each roll yields nine feet. Um, so we, I did a little math and I decided I needed five pieces from each roll that are 21 and a half inches each. So five pieces from each roll that are 21 and a half um, inches each and yielding 10 from both of the rolls all together. Now, just a quick note, your last two pieces are gonna be slightly larger, so just keep that in mind. But anyway, moving on to the sewing portion. So you're gonna leave a small opening at the tip of each star, but you're gonna sew all the way around the star, but just make sure that you leave every single point open, just like a tiny little hole, because that's where we're going to insert our leather cord. So this is what it should look like, and then I'm gonna just show you all a little bit of a close up so you can kind of see what I mean. Oh wait, never mind. Lies. I'm just gonna keep sewing. Um, yeah, this is embarrassing. Uh, so, so like as you see, I'm just tilting it and rotating it on the machine, and then I have my um, scissors and I'm opening that up, that little hole that we left there. As you see, right there, right there. Okay, okay, girl. All right, we get it. And yeah, so I'm just gonna use my scissors to open that hole up and then kind of funnel my leather cord in. So my first leather cord piece. Um, I'm gonna funnel that in and leave, let it go in about like an inch. And then you're going to go ahead and sew that, that hole closed. So to sew that, I just did a straight stitch back and forth and back and forth. And just go very slowly because these this material is quite heavy. So you don't wanna damage your machine or your needle because I've definitely broken a lot of needles in my life. But yeah, so you're gonna do this for all of the points. And yeah, this is what it should look like when you're all finished. Oh, I'm super early. Okay. Yeah, this is what it should look like when you're all finished. Yahoo! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, y'all. So that's all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you do try it out, please, please send it to me or tag me. I'd love to see it. And of course, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.